depreciation. And remember, depreciation is the allocation of cost. It is not a means of valuation of the asset. Okay, we can depreciate lots of type of assets, anything mostly that we're going to get the benefit of for more than a year. So it can be a building, it can be a vehicle, it can be a copier, it can be equipment, machinery, any of that kind of stuff where we get where the life expectancy is going to be more than a year. We're getting more of a benefit as time goes on. Uh, we have a couple of methods that we're going to talk about. The first one being straight line method. Now straight line method is used mostly for financial statement purposes uh, by far and that's mostly because it's easiest. And the main concept behind straight line appreciation is we're spreading the cost of the asset over its useful life at an equal rate. Okay, so we're going to do a little example here. We have cost, we have a uh, piece of equipment that costs us $50,000. At the end of its useful life, we'll be able to sell it for $10,000. That's called salvage value. Okay, the amount to be depreciated is going to be the difference between the two. So our cost was 50, so the amount to be depreciated is $40,000. Our asset for this purpose is going to be, has an estimated useful life of four years. Okay, so four years is how long we expect to be able to use the asset. So we're going to spread the cost, that amount to be depreciated, over four years. And if we were to calculate a rate on that, our depreciation rate is going to be one divided by the number of years, or in this case, 25%. Okay, so 25% a year is our depreciation rate. The amount to be depreciated is 40,000. So for year one, our, we're going to take our amount to be depreciated, 40,000 times 25%. So we're going to have depreciation expense of 10,000 per year. So our entry would be to debit or increase depreciation expense by 10,000, that's going under income statement, and credit accumulated depreciation for $10,000. Remember that is going to be you know, it's called a contra asset, that's going to offset the cost of the asset and we report our assets, our fixed assets at what's called net book value. So it's going to be our cost minus our accumulated depreciation where accumulated depreciation is equal to all the depreciation we've taken through the life of that asset. So our first year it's 10,000. Take a wild guess what the second year is going to be. 10,000. Okay, third year 10,000, fourth year 10,000. So our depreciation expense is going to be 10,000 each year. Our accumulated depreciation at the end of four years is going to be our 40,000. Okay. And that is all there is to straight line depreciation.